gonna smudge the shit out of my house. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I bleep out swear words in iMovie when I'm editing my YouTube videos. So please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into it. All right, so we're in iMovie and I have my video track right here. So the first thing that I wanna do is to isolate that swear word. So I'm gonna split the clip right at the beginning and the end of the swear word. To split, you just do Command B. And then I'm gonna lower the volume on that swear word clip all the way down to zero. And then I'm gonna go into the Finder window where I have my bleep sound effect saved. I got this sound effect from a website called Pixabay. It is an awesome site where you can download a ton of royalty-free sound effects, music, and stock video and photos for your videos and your social media content. It's free to use, and I will link below where you can find the bleep sounds. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it Good. All right, so now I'm gonna go into Canva. And for what I like to do with putting the symbols across my mouth is a Canva Pro feature. And if you don't have Canva Pro and you'd like to try it for 30 days for free, go ahead and click the link in my description box. So I'm gonna click on Instagram post. It doesn't really matter what size, but Instagram post is pretty safe. And then I'm gonna click text and add a heading. You can add a text box, it doesn't really matter. Change the font, up to you. I just use this basic League Spartan, it's fine. So now I'm going to change the text to my symbols. Make it a little bit bigger here. And then I'm gonna highlight it and change it all to white. Again, you can make it whatever color you want. I know you can't see it here, but I'm going to click Share, Download, and Transparent Background. That is the pro feature and download it like that so it shows up in iMovie as just the white symbols. So now I'm back in iMovie. I'm gonna smudge the out of my house. I'm gonna open my downloads finder window and just drag and drop it right into iMovie. And I will click the double squares up here and choose picture in picture. And this will allow me to make this image bigger or smaller and move it around exactly where I want it. And when you do picture in picture, it automatically makes it to where the image will fade in and out. But I don't want that. I want it to just pop on and off. So I can click the little toggle sliders on the top and slide them all the way to the sides. Sit with you. And then I'm going to smudge the out of my and that looks good done so easy i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and if there's a tutorial that you'd like me to create please let me know in the comments below thanks for watching see you in the next one bye